welcome back in this video i will demonstrate heart attack risk prediction system a final year project with the help of machine learning algorithm heart attacks and cardiovascular diseases are indeed the leading cause of death globally responsible for more fatalities each year than any other condition according to the world health organization Cardiovascular diseases claim an estimated 17.9 million lives annually, accounting for nearly 32 percentage of all global deaths. Every 40 seconds, a person dies of a heart attack in the United States of America. Heart attack risk prediction is a system that uses the predictive capability of machine learning models based on the similar data points collected in the past. It predicts the risk of heart attack based on the data provided by the user regarding their lifestyle, symptoms and medical history. This project will estimate the risk of having the heart attack in the coming future. You can follow this link to download the project. I provided the link in the description below. Once you download the project, we will get the following contents. The first one is the data set. The data set is present in a CSV file and the data set will look something like this. It contains a feature like age, education, current smokers and the target is 10 years CHD. Next one is the documents. The document contains a complete report and PPT and the report is present in both Word and the PDF format. And these are the contents of the reports. Next one is a model folder. In the model folder, we will get the pre-trained models like a KNN model and a logistic regression model. And if you want to train the model, you can use the source code. I will discuss the source code in the later slides. And the templates and apps are related to Flask applications. And next, these two files are contains the source file and uh, these source files are present in the ipython notebook and uh, python file. Next file is the readme file. It contains the uh, instructions to install the necessary libraries and steps to run the project. Finally, the requirements.txt. It contains the necessary libraries to run the project. Here we need to open the anaconda prompt. To open the anaconda prompt, we need to click on the search account and we need to type the anaconda prompt here. Next, we need to open this one. Once you open this one, it will open the anaconda terminal. First, we need to shift the directory where the project is saved. In my case, the project is saved in D drive. So, first I will shift the directory to D drive by using the command D colon. So, once you shift the directory to the D drive, next we need to uh, shift the directory to the project folder. In my case, the project folder is present in this path. So, I will shift this one to project folder. Once you shift to the project folder, next we need to follow the following steps to install the required softwares and libraries. This is a one-time task. And to train the model, we need to follow these steps. And uh, after completing of the training the model, uh, we need to run the flask cap. To run the flask cap, we need to use these steps. This is how training source code looks like. First, we will import the necessary libraries. First, we will load the data which is present in this path. After that, we will clean the data. And after cleaning the data, it will look something like this. In this case, we can see that. Uh, the number of negative cases are more than the number of positive cases. The negative cases are far more than the positive cases. So, it will become the imbalanced data set. So, to balance the data set, we will do the uh, smooth. So, after doing the smooth, we will get the balanced data set. Here, we can see that the number of negative cases and number of positive cases are uh, similarly same so it will become the balanced data set after that we need to train the app in knn and a logistic regression model once you're done with the training next we need to evaluate the model by using the uh, testing data and after the evaluation we will display the 
a confusion matrix and we will display the accuracy achieved as 84.45 percentage sensitivity as a 94.77 percentage and a specificity as a 76.51 percentage next i will show the graphical user interface design using the flask library uh, here we need to enter the values for the features like a uh, uh, your name age total cholesterol like that all values we need to fill here once you're done with the filling the all the necessary features next we need to select the model in this case i selected a model model as a knn model and uh, after that we need to click on the predict button once you click on the predict button it is giving the result or a prediction as you are safe and the prediction confidence is 93.87 percentage and in the second time what i will do i will just change the model name uh, to logistic regression in that case we will get the prediction as you are safe and with the confidence as 57.13 percentage and after that i will change some uh, values in the futures uh, like uh, i will change the age to 59 and uh, i will predict the result and the prediction result is at uh, you are at risk and confidence is 71.49 percentage so in this case if the age is more the risk is more in this video i have demonstrated the heart attack disc prediction and a link for this video is given in the description below if you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.